Okay, so I am back. I hope you can see. I am getting ready to dirty pour this battery power pack for a cell phone. This time, instead of using regular plastic, I am using contact paper. And this is some that I had already used for vinyl, but I figured it still has some adhesive properties to it. So I'm going to let it pick up the paint for my next jewelry skin and then when I go to put it on something else it will have a little bit of an adhesive property to the back so I love pink and of all the colors that I have I don't have pink dirty pour pink but I made this today with red yellow a little bit of white and it created this beautiful shade of pink you probably can't see it now but this little case is so small um it really doesn't need that much paint this is an experiment I've taped off the end so nothing gets in and here we go I'm gonna try this paint I mean Lord have mercy the pink Oh, it is a pretty pink. I just wish that I had a lighter shade of pink too. And this paint is not as runny. I didn't test it. This is my first time using it. So I didn't know. But I don't think it's runny enough. But it's okay. I'll have enough of the other colors. And I'm going to go with my teal or turquoise however you want to see it's not as runny the pink wasn't as runny as the other one I'm gonna add a little yellow Um, what I should have done and I didn't do was paint this before I started because you can see how it is literally just sliding off and that's because I didn't do anything underneath here so this may wind up being an epic fail because I should have lightly sanded the battery charger prior to getting started but because this paint here is so thick and doesn't have that much flow control it seems like everywhere where I put it is pretty much sticking so I'm going back and adding more to see if I can get it where oops the the white is oh seems like this seems like that's gonna do it I hope it's groovy man <laughs> oh Yes. Now, because this is not made for the spinner, I had to tape this onto my spinner. And so I know where I taped it off that it's not going to have any um, color. It's just going to be white. And I really didn't want it to be white. I wanted to color the whole thing. So I'm going to have to work on that. But, um... You know what? I like it just the way it is without adding anything else. I like how the colors are just blending in. If anything, I just add just a little tail to the top. Oops. I didn't even want that much, but as it's spreading, it will continue to mix. Ooh. 
Ooh, I really like how that's coming out. It looks like a, a tie-dye effect. I hope I have the camera set up real good so you can really see the colors. And I'm literally just going to let it continue to swirl. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of heat. You may get a two for one video with this one. I don't think I put any silicone in any of these paint colors. And I really like how it's swirling. And I don't want to put too much heat because remember this is a battery pack and I don't want it to mess up the pack itself. I'm gonna do it on low. coming out really nice normally I would use the the heat gun to dry up the paint so it does no longer falls but in this case because the item that I'm using is plastic underneath I'm just trying to get the paint that's running so it will see those pretty colors it won't run that much because I'm scared to put too much heat on there and mess up the case so it'll be pretty but then it won't be functional and I need it to be functional So at the same time, this is what I do for my jewelry skin. I literally just move it around on the plastic and whatever shape it creates is then used for jewelry. Once it dries, once it dries, so believe it or not, I like the patterns and stuff that's in there. So I'm going to leave it just like that. And when it dries, I can then make something else from it. Thanks for watching.